Blessed be the barley. Hi guys and welcome to this week's episode of The Handmaid's Ale. First of all, I'd like to do an apology. I didn't upload a video last week because I was away on holiday for a part of it and the usual day that I'd be spent filming was spent sort of recovering and unpacking and that sort of thing. So very, very sorry, but we are back this week. And this week we are doing the Blood Orange Wheat Beer. This is brewed by Adnams Brewery based in Southwold, Suffolk, but it is uh, exclusively for Marks and Spencers in the UK. So a little bit about Adnams, like I said, they're based in Southwold in Suffolk. They are probably one of the most popular breweries in that region, especially within Suffolk. Most, if not all, of the pubs will stock at least one Adnams beer. And then they also uh, weave into Essex and Norfolk and even into Cambridgeshire. Their most famous beers would probably be Broadside or the Southwold Bitter. But today we are trying the Blood Orange Wheat Beer. The Blood Orange Wheat Beer is, like I said at the beginning of the episode, brewed exclusively for Marks and Spencers. So they've done a collaboration with Adnams for that. I actually went to Brighton yesterday and my very lovely extra mummy Sandy tried this on the train and I had to plug my ears for everything that she had to say about it but now I'm reviewing it. So I couldn't find out much information about this beer online because it's not going to be on the Adnams website so all I can say is what's on the back of the can. This medium bodied wheat beer combines subtle spice notes with fresh zesty blood orange for a deliciously refreshing twist. A perfect match. Citrus and fish are a great pairing so try this refreshing beer with something like grilled mackerel salad. So this is canned as you can see so it's a 330 milliliter can and it is 4.5 volume so actually quite light for a wheat beer but still a nice percentage. I have served it chilled, fresh out the fridge, like a wheat beer should be served, and it's probably around 4 degrees in temperature. I am going to crack this open and give it a taste. So on the nose it smells very wheaty, not citrusy at all, and the colour is stereotypical of a lager or a wheat beer, definitely more golden, so it tends to look more wheaty. I think it's a bit of a shame actually that it doesn't have a blood orange look, I kind of, I don't know why, I expected it to have a bit more of an orange tint to it, but um, let's give it a try. It's nice. I do like a wheat beer. Sometimes I'm not overly fussed on them because I find them a bit too yeasty and a bit too bready. But it's quite nice. The citrus isn't overpowering and it's not too bitter. So it cuts through. It's almost like when you have marmalade on toast. I do like it. I think it needs to be served out of a better glass rather than a, a standard pint glass. A nice tall one would probably work a lot better. I'm not hating it, but I'm not overwhelmed by it. It's not as blood orangey. I wouldn't be able to say it was blood orange. There's nothing particular about that. It just has a bit more of a citrus twang to it. And I'm not getting spicy at all. It is nice. I can almost taste that it is an Adnams. It has that same sort of distinctive Adnams flavour that something like the Mosaic Pale Ale or the... I can't remember what their other lager is called. I'll put something up here about what I think it tastes like from the Adnams. I'd buy a pint of it. I'd buy a pint of it if I saw it on tap, but obviously I'm not going to. All in all, I would give the Blood Orange Wheat Beer from Adnams via Marks and Spencers 3 out of 5. It's a pleasant wheat beer if you like that sort of thing, but if you're hoping for something that is quite citrusy or specifically Blood Orange, I'm not wowed by that little factoid of it. 
And that brings me to the end of this week's episode. Again, I'm so sorry that I didn't upload last week. I am back to a regular schedule now. That schedule being every Wednesday at 7 p.m. British Standard Time. If you've liked this video, then please give me a thumbs up, a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'm still relatively new, and it would be great to have your support. So until next time, bye-bye.